Veronica Meadows is out there with a closer look. All right, what other exciting things do you have for us today at this festival? Yeah, Charlie. Well, if you want to come check out some art and, of course, some free music, you can just do that here at Beacon Park starting at 11 a.m. We are now here with DJ Tech Nono, who is one of the DJs kicking off the Still Loading Festival today. Are you one of the first ones? I'm not. I'm actually going to be playing on Sunday at 7, but I'll be here all day. Okay, gotcha. So you're not playing today, but you're still coming to hang Absolutely. out, check everything out today. Yes, very cool. So tell us a little bit more about the festival and what it's going to look like. Absolutely. So, you know, I got reached out by a buddy. He got put on by Melissa. And actually, I met Melissa. She called me, and it was an immediate vibe. She kind of told me the vision for the festival, all the amazing things she's doing to bring awareness to some of the things that she goes through. Um, and as soon as she told me about that vision, I had no other choice but to be a part of it. It was It's a super exciting vision. We got a lot of cool stuff planned, a lot of good sponsors, good DJs. It's going to be a great time, too. So I'm super excited. What's it like for you being one of, you know, several different DJs to be here at the festival, especially here in Beacon Park as things are finally starting to get back to normal? You know what? It just feels good that we're able to put on something for Detroit safely. You know, there's a lot of different restrictions. Things are lifting. Some other things are not. So it's cool that Melissa has been able to navigate through that. And I mean, more power to her. She's done a fantastic job. She's really put on for Detroit. And she, I mean, she's from here, but she came back. She'll be going back to Miami. And it, it's just, it's great to be a part of it. So tell us a little bit more about you too. Are you uh, from the city of Detroit and around Detroit? Yes. Yeah, so I actually live in Sterling Heights. I've been in Detroit DJing for probably about two years with Godfather and Tech Nono was kind of born during the pandemic. You know, with all the free time I had, I put it back into production and here we are. So this is super exciting. Very cool. And this is actually one of the first festivals, you know, since the announcement of the restrictions being lifted. So this has to be super exciting for you knowing that you can be, that you put those skills back to use during the pandemic and here you are. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it feels weird. I feel like I'm breaking some rules right now and stuff like that. I mean, I just got back from Orlando and it's a completely different world out there, but I'm just excited to be able to start to open things back up safely and give people something to do and something to escape everything that's going on. Tell us about becoming a DJ and the amount of practice that goes into it and how does that all work? You know what, like six years ago, I had a couple of surgeries and stuff like that. And instead of taking pain meds, I just bought some DJ equipment with some money that my grandma left me. And from that point on, I've never looked back. I put a lot of hours into it, started with a different name. Tech Nono was born and it's just, music's always been an escape for me. And I, I love to give people that opportunity to escape as well and, and just have a good time, bring people together and just conduct the realm in a, in a good way. Absolutely. Well, if you want to check out lots of different artists or different different DJs like DJ Tech Nono here. You can do that down here at Beacon Park. More information about the Still Loading Festival is on your screen as we speak. It is free. Everything starts at 11 today, goes until 11 p.m. Same thing tomorrow. I can't wait. You can't wait either. You can tell you're super excited. <laughs> yes, a little bit, a little bit. We're super excited to have everybody. You know, it starts at 11, so make sure you guys like, arrive early, get something to eat. We're going to have a lot of vendors here, a lot of different DJs, a lot of different um, different styles and stuff. So I'm excited to see how everything comes together. And we can't forget about the art. You know, the art's going to be a, a completely different aspect to it that I've never really experienced. So I'm super excited to see everything intertwined and how everything plays out. Well, it seems like it's going to be really intricate too. We're going to have, I've been told, there are going to be uh, big murals, there are going to be LED lights. It's kind of hard to envision what it's going to look like, but I mean, from the setups that we already have here, lots of colors, lots of fun, super yeah. creative. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of different stuff with the art and the music and everything going on. It's going to be a, the first of many experiences. We've already talking about planning next year, so it's going to be even bigger and better, so I'm just super excited to be a part of it. Very cool. Well, the, definitely the start of something special here in Beacon Park. Again, everything starts at 11 today, goes until 11 p.m. Same thing tomorrow. Again, it is free. We're in downtown Detroit. Veronica Meadows, we'll send it back to you. Hey, Veronica, can you ask Tech Nono, uh, when he plays, does he read the audience and then change the music, or does he play the music and kind of influence the audience? Oh, that's a really good question. I can't even imagine what this answer is going to be. Charlie has a fun question for you, Let's DJ Tech Nono. He wants to know, when you are playing music for the audience, do you read the audience and adjust your music, or do you more so influence the audience and kind of guide them? 
You know what? Honestly, I guess it depends on the venue. If it's a specific Tech No No show, they're going to get exactly what Tech No No's there for. But with something like this, it's really important to read the crowd. It's important to play a track and see how they react because yeah. if they like it, yeah. you have to continue down that path because obviously they're vibing to it. So it's like an experience. It's a journey, and you just have to make sure that you're connected with the audience and they're connected with you and you guide them through the process. That's so cool. So much that goes into being a DJ that, you know, at face value, you may not realize. Yeah, we're not just a bunch of guys and girls that press buttons and turn knobs. A lot of it is reading the crowd and understanding, you know, okay, they like that, let's keep going, or ooh, they didn't like that, let's switch it up a little bit. Super cool. All right, Charlie, uh, there's a lot of good vibes going on here at Beacon Park today. I'm sure the same thing with you. I think Technono's got it. I think this is going to be a fun time here. I I'm liking this vibe already. I